One in every 500 kids in America has autism, and the disorder is on an alarming rise. In her new book, Unraveling the Mystery of Autism and Pervasive De Developmental Disorders, A Mother's Story of Research and Recovery, author Karen Sarusi details her successful search for a solution to her son's autism. Karen Sarusi, good morning. This book reads like uh, a mystery novel. You basically, like so many people, parents of a child uh, with autism, basically knew something was wrong before the doctors did. Yes, I think when I first realized something was wrong was when I realized that my son had actually gained several social and language abilities that he then stopped using. So it was the loss of those skills that first set off alarm bells in my head. We have graphics of your, of your son at 12 months before autism, the signs showing up, the 14 months, again, still no signs. And then at 16 months, something happened. And you yeah. want us to point out his stomach obviously is distended here in this yes. photograph. And at the time, I didn't really realize what a difference there was. When I look back at these pictures, I think, my heavens, this child had an enormous bloated belly, and he was miserable, and he screamed all the time. At 17 months, what were we saying? Um, at this point, he was gone. What we do you mean, gone? We had lost our child. It was as if he had been uh, kidnapped. His body was still there, but he was disconnected. He was in his own world. You he couldn't was, engage him. No. And this was a child who had been waving bye-bye and blowing kisses and playing patty cake and doing all the adorable things that a toddler should be doing. You go to the doctors, what do they say? And he wasn't doing them anymore. Um, doctors said he had, uh, he had autism. Which was a shock, very devastating for you and your husband. Severe lifelong here. disability. And yeah. what was the solution? What was the thing that they told you to do to make well, it better? According to the doctors, there was no solution. But the best we could hope for would be that he would uh, achieve reasonably good functioning and be able to be a, at least a, a member of the family to some degree and, and gain certain rudimentary educational skills. Um, the prognosis was very poor. You refused to take that for an answer. And you basically <laughs> became this, this per your husband's a scientist, yeah. you're a housewife. You basically said, look, I'm going to find out everything I can about autism. You found out that the signs of autism include language develop slowly or not at all, that, peop that these children may avoid social interaction, they have sensory impairment, lack of spontaneous or imaginative play, may be overactive or e very passive, and they may have unexplained repetitive behavior. But this didn't help you in terms of right. figuring out how to way to make your Everything I saw about autism described the symptoms, but it didn't describe the cause so or what the did treatments. You do? So what did you do? Well, th th my, s my search started at the library, and I didn't find very much information, but I saw a tiny little mention of something linked autism to uh, milk allergy. This sounded so crazy to me, but my son was drinking an inordinate amount of milk. Maybe he craved a, milk, in over, fact. Over half a gallon of milk a day, and if he didn't get it, he screamed. And uh, he had chronic, chronic diarrhea, terrible, exploding, you know, gastrointestinal problems. And you could see in that little bloated belly, I thought, well, what if he has a lactose intolerance? Maybe it'll at least help with the screaming and the discomfort. Amazingly, we took the, the dairy products out of his diet, and within two or three days, he started making eye contact. He suddenly two or three days. knew quickly. who I was, yes. And this is, now, we're talking about a very small child. He was 19 months old when we took the dairy products out of his diet. And an older child with autism who responds to this kind of intervention, it could take several weeks or months before you really see a significant Another change. reason that early diagnosis for autism right. is so important. So it became apparent to me right away that this was information that had to be out there. You basically took out dairy. And we're going to show you a picture of uh, not only comparing at 17 months, to, but also to age four what happened to your son. Yes. Here he is at 17 months. And you saw a market improvement yes. uh, by the time he was four. Not only was he now connecting with people, he was doing so much better in how many other ways? I, I couldn't wait to get out of bed in the morning to see this child because he was better every day. He began interacting with his sister, with his family, he made friends. Uh, by the time he was in kindergarten, he was in a, a normal kindergarten program, lots You'd of friends, popular. You'd also taken him popular. off of gluten as well as da dairy. Yes. What happened was when we saw this response to, to dairy, this was 1995 and the internet wasn't as big as it is now, but I got a screwdriver and installed a modem and found out that the other protein that seems to be triggering autism in these children is gluten, which is a wheat protein. It's found in wheat, oats, rye, barley, and several other grains. In your view, your son is not 
quote unquote cured of autism. No. He basically, however, is not his condition is not exacerbated by his getting right. these foods that causes he still has the, symptoms. the underlying disorder that causes autism, and that's the disorder that we need a cure for. But what we found was the cause of his autistic symptoms, and we were able to take that away. Did you believe only that that food was the cause, given that you also write about how his symptoms seemed to onset so strongly right after he'd gotten his vaccinations? I believe that autism is a disorder that can be triggered by an insult to the immune system. And the reason that I'm one of so many parents who saw this decline in a typically developing, devel developing child after the shots may be because there's something about the combination of having too many shots too soon to such small children that could be triggering You autism. know that's controversial. That's going to yes. be a matter of much debate because doctors will tell you that that is not a problem. Right. And what I'm, do you say? How, what is your defense of your position? I'm not anti-vaccine by any means. In fact, I consider myself pro-vaccine safety. And I'm just not satisfied that we fully understand the risks of giving so many shots all at once to such small children. Bottom line, how is your son doing now? Uh, is, is he, is he, <laughs> is. Is, for example, he is not in a special school. No, he has, he yes, he, he actually was declassified grade. with autism at the age of three. He's on a very limited diet. He has food allergies in addition to having this problem with gluten and casein. But he's a joy to live with. He's doing beautifully at school. He's a lot of fun to be around. And uh, he does not have any symptoms. And if he has a piece of cheese or a glass of milk, boom. It wouldn't happen. But the last time it happened was several years ago, and, and we saw severe regression. Well, I think uh, he is very lucky to have a mother who cared so much to Thank never you. give up. Thank you. Thank you, and best wishes to you Thanks a lot. on your book. And if you'd like to read an excerpt from Unraveling the Mystery of Autism and Pervasive Developmental Disorders, or to get more information about autism, you can visit our website at today.msnbc.com. And we're back in just a moment with more of today after this.